Hello, my name is Maria Smith, and today we're going to, I'm going to show you how to determine the interval of where a function is increasing and decreasing. First, what we're going to do is go to our y equals function on the calculator. So let's press y equals, and we're going to tap in the first function that I'm going to show you how to do, which is negative 2 x squared minus 24x minus 64. Once you have it typed in, we're going to hit graph. Now, what I want to do before we hit graph, I'm going to do zoom six. That way I can make sure that my graph is in a standard grid to see if that works. If I need to adjust it, then I would do so. So we do zoom six. That puts it on a standard grid, and there is my graph. When I am trying to determine whether where a function is increasing and decreasing, I'm going to start by reading it from the left side. All right. So I'm going to put a little arrow here, just indicating that we're reading from the left. Notice that on the left side you've got negative infinity for x values, and on the right side you have positive infinity. Now, as we're analyzing this quadratic graph, we notice that coming from the left, it looks like the graph is increasing until a maximum value, and then it starts decreasing. So in order to determine the interval, and again, we're looking at x values, we need to know what that x value of the maximum is, because that's the point where the graph changes from increasing to decreasing. So in order to do that, I'm going to use another function in our calculator, which is the second trace function, second trace. And there, I'm going to choose a maximum. So option number four is maximum. When I do that, notice that it asks me for a left bound, meaning a left boundary. So I need to move my cursor to be to the left of the maximum. So I'm going to use my left and right arrows until I see that cursor up here. There it is. And we're going to go to a little bit to the left, press enter, and a little bit to the right of the maximum and press enter. And then we're going to just press enter. And it gives me that my x value is negative 6. So I want to write here that x is equals to negative six. And so again, the analyzing, we are coming, remember negative infinities over here, positive infinities on the right side. For, from the left, we come from negative infinity to that negative six, and the function is increasing, it's going up. So increasing, is from negative infinity to a negative six. Now, once it gets to this negative six value in the x-axis, it starts going down. That means it is decreasing. From negative six to positive infinity. And that is the intervals for this function of increasing and decreasing. We're going to do a second example. So let me go ahead and clear this. And we're going to go back to y equals. And let's try another function to see what it looks like. So we're going to clear this. And I'm going to type in the function x using the, to the 6, using the caret kit, and then do 6 move over minus nine X to the fourth. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hit graph and see what it looks like. So notice that this graph is coming in from the left and it looks like it's decreasing. Then it goes to increasing, decreasing, and then increasing. But notice I cannot find, I don't can't see the minimums. 
All right, so I'm gonna have to adjust my window. So I'm gonna go to window right here, window settings. My X values are fine because I could see the two endpoints and the X axis, but I need to change my Y minimum. So I'm gonna go down and let's put negative 100 and see what that does. And then I'm gonna go ahead and um, change the scale, the scale right here to 10, to go in increments of 10. So let's hit graph and see what happens. Oh, notice I'm kind of close, but I still cannot see the minimums, all right? And in order for me to determine them, I have to be able to see them on the graph. So let's go back to window and adjust again. So I'm very close. So let's just add another, um, Let's go with negative 120 and let's see what that does. So let's graph it now. And yes, there they are. We can find our minimums. So now we're going to use again the function in the calculator to go ahead, second trace to find the minimum. So we're going to go option three in this case, press enter. Again, there's my cursor and notice it's at zero, zero. So that's one of my relative maximums right there. So I need that value of zero. So I know that's there, but I need to find the minimum. So I'm gonna move my arrow to the left. Use my arrow left to go to the left of the minimum. Press enter to set my left boundary. Now I need to go to the right of my minimum. Press enter to do my right boundary and then I'm just going to press enter and it gives me a value of negative 2.45 just going to round to two decimal places so I'm going to write it down so negative 2.45 now the other one this other minimum looks like it's about the same length but I want to make sure of what that value is so I'm going to go ahead and do again second trace pick option number three for the minimum. And again, it is asking me for a left boundary, but I need to move it to the right side of the axis. So I'm gonna use my right arrow to move it all the way to the right axis. And then I'm gonna get a little bit to the left of the minimum and press enter to determine my left boundary. And then I'm gonna move a little bit to the right to determine my right boundary. And then I'm gonna press enter again. And that value is a positive 2.45 rounded. So now let's analyze. Remember, when we're determining increasing, decreasing, we always read the graph from the left. We're looking at x values. Notice on the left we have negative infinity. On the right we have positive infinity. So we have from negative infinity this graph is going down to that minimum value of negative 245. So it is decreasing because that's the first thing it's doing. Decreasing from negative infinity to negative 2.45, then it's gonna, it gets to negative 2.45 and it starts increasing. So the function is gonna be increasing. So I'm gonna write it right here. From negative 2.45, to zero. And then when it gets to zero here, it starts decreasing again until that minimum. So it's going to go from zero to 
which is decreasing. And then it gets to that minimum of 2.45 and it starts increasing. So now for the last part, we've got increasing from 2.45 to positive infinity. And we are done determining the interval where the graph is increasing and decreasing for the function of x to the sixth minus 9x to the fourth. See you next time.